What's up guys, my name is Viren and about 2 weeks release of macOS beta 6, Apple returns with macOS beta 7. So taking a look at the size of this update, you can see here it comes in just 3.61 GB. And now let's go and check out the build number for this update which is 20A5374G. So let's begin with the first change that is about the dock and menu bar. I'm not sure if you can notice or not but there's a slight difference in the shade of the dock. It got a bit lighter in shade. And in the menu bar now you can see the icons turned to black color in light wallpaper. Earlier they were in grey and not clearly visible. Now they are updated and are dynamic according to the light or dark wallpaper. Next is about the spotlight issue. Now you can normally find the app or file in spotlight and also no issue in opening app from spotlight. Earlier you had to initially launch the application using finder. So this is fixed now. Next is about the third party application. Many apps are now supported and are working smoothly in Big Sur. And if you still face any problem with any third party app then try reinstalling them. Another change is in dock and menu bar. Here we got a new clock option for menu bar. Next is about the airports auto switching. As per my information, airports auto switching is working in beta 7. I don't have airports to show the demo in this video, but yes, I am sure it is working properly. Battery backup is better than the last build and I didn't face any heating issue or any lag while using the heavy applications. And lastly about the weather widget and CD icons. When set to my location, the weather widget now displays the weather for that location. Earlier the location was improper or it was showing failed to load data. And in CD. Now all suggestion app icons are fixed except this port icon. It still shows the CD icon. So that's pretty much it about the macOS developer beta 7. Really not a lot to talk about the front end design changes. But you guys know I like to keep you informed no matter how big or small update it is. So if you guys found anything additional that I did not cover in this video, let me know down in a comment below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you gave a thumbs up and also make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss my future macOS coverage. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.